Keir Starmer has made plans to expel 1,000 Labour Party members who are considered far left and poisonous. The Labour leader has targeted four groups of members that could be prescribed by the party's ruling body. Sir Keir has pledged to stamp out what he calls toxic extremism within the party. Labour's ruling National Executive Committee will be requested to identify four toxic organisations. These groups have been said to promote communism claim anti-Semitism allegations are overblown and demand the reinstatement of Jeremy Corbyn as a Labour MP. Two of the groups that will be banned are Resist and Labour Against the Witch Hunt. Another group to be prescribed are the Communist-leaning Socialist Appeal. It has been reported in the Daily Mirror that anyone found to be a member of any of the four groups will face an automatic expulsion from the Labour Party. The Labour National Executive Committee, NEC, meeting next Tuesday is expected to pass the new motion to ban the select groups. The ban will affect approximately Labour Party 1,000 members who could be auto-excluded. A party source said, under Corbyn, those from the far-left fringes with poisonous beliefs and warped worldviews were welcomed into the party. Keir is right to stamp out anti-Semitism and toxic extremism. He is also right to get the party back into the decent mainstream of Labour values. We need to be fighting to form the next government and that means cleaning out the stable. However, Labour MP John McDonnell and Jeremy Corby are not meant to be members of any of the targeted groups. A Labour spokesman said, Labour is a broad, welcoming and democratic party and we are committed to ensuring it stays that way. From time to time, there are groups the NEC will prescribe. The NEC will be asked on Tuesday to consider whether these four organisations are compatible with Labour's rules or our aims and values. Mr Corbyn is still suspended from the Parliamentary Labour Party. This was because he claimed Labour anti-Semitism had been dramatically overstated for political reasons.